we made clear that we, government, could not move from our position that the increments had to be foregone. Now, I think the difficulty arises over the meaning of foregone. We explained it in this way. From the start, we had said you lose your increments for 2020, 2021. But for any public officer, as soon as that public officer reaches retirement age, after 2021, after the fiscal year, end fiscal year 2021, for purposes of calculating your retirement benefits, we will act as though that foregone increment, we will treat it as part of the mix. Indeed, because how you, the modalities of actually achieving that can be a little bit tricky, we agreed on the formation of a small committee that would examine uh, exactly how the calculations would take place. But uh, I don't need to trouble you with the particulars of that. The fact is the agreement, government's position was you forego the increments, although at the time of retirement, those increments or the foregone increment will be inputted into the formula for determining your pension benefits. The unions, or at least two of the unions, said, oh no, we only want the increments to be deferred until a time certain, meaning, I think in one case they said two years, they came up with another possible formula, as soon as there is a 2% GDP growth. We absolutely government that is refused to accept that. Where we are now is that they don't want to uh, stick by the language that had been read out at the end of the meeting. They want to change the language to say that the increments will not be foregone. They will be deferred, even though they say deferred until retirement is reached. For me, it's not a distinction without a difference. That was the crux of the matter. Words have meanings. We agreed yesterday that it was a question of foregoing the increments, and I'm afraid that government is determined to stick to that.